Uh, so welcome back, my dear students. Welcome back, everyone. This is another lecture and another video in the corporate, in the ethics and the corporate social responsibility. Both ethics and corporate social responsibility. And we were talking before, we'll talk today about the justice theory. Justice theory. Justice theory. Offered an alternate to the dominant utilitarian of the time, we said the utility means the cost and benefit analysis, the ideas of fairness applied beyond the individual to include the community as well as analysis of social injustice where reminder to correct it. We have also to talk, once we talk about the justice theory, so we have the justice theory, we have to talk about the social, social contract theory, social contract theory. The social contract theory held that the natural state of human beings was freedom, but that human beings will rationally submit to some restrictions on their freedom to secure their mutual. So firstly, yes, I'm free. I'm free to do what I want, but I will sacrifice a part of this freedom in, uh, in, for sake of my benefits. Uh, that is the meaning of it. So again, I will sacrifice the social contract theory, the basics, the origin that I'm free, but I will sacrifice with a part of this free freedom. I will sacrifice with a part of this free freedom to get uh, more safety in the society or the community which I'm in, and to get more benefits as well, to get benefit and safety. So those are the main ideas here. What would you do? John Rawls' original position represents a community in which you have no idea what kind of person you will end up being. In the scene, uh, it is like life itself. After all, you have no ideas what your future will be like. You could end up rich, poor, married, single, living in Manhattan or Peru. Uh, you might be a surgeon or a fishing or uh, for the treasure. Yet, there is one community you will most likely to be a part of uh, same points, the age, given that you know this, but you are not sure of the details, which condition you would agree to now so that senior citizens are provided for remember that you most likely will join them and experience the effects of what you decide now. Uh, you are leaving behind not a spatial veil of ignorance, but a temporal one. We talk about uh, these points uh, and we talk also about the theories and the aspects of each theory in this part. And we'll move forward now to a new part about the stakeholders and the relationship of the stakeholders. But firstly, let me go back to the summing up of this uh, video of this uh, chapter to sum up what we came to learn from during this lines, I will be uh, in the summary, the role of ethics in Athens, Greek, this in the golden age was substantial, Aristotle focus on the role of virtue in developing individual characters and social stability. Aristotle identified two types of virtues, intellectual and moral. Intellectual virtue were uh, acquired through learning and served as guides to behavior by helping the individual to discover truth. But moral virtue were acquired through habits and built a character by helping someone pursue what is benefit and avoid what's harmful in daily life. Ethical evidences of novels, Confucius attempted to revise ancient Chinese traditions and more to counter the social choice of his time. 
a system of virtue ethics emphasize relationship and when followed faithfully lead to uh, though of humanity that is true harmonious living comparing the virtue also like what we said regarding this part also sorry because we jumped past here we jumped the part here that's fine this is the case of something and this is what we've been working on and this is the summary of our work right now so this is in china comparing the virtue ethics and east west aristotle and confessions each constructed an ethical system based on virtue uh, that's what we want utilitarian go back to the utilitarian uh, here we go I think we'll pass the big part. That's fine. We are fine. It's okay. We pass some part here, but no problem. Here we go. When you press it, no worries. It's okay. So here we go again. Uh, the corporate social responsibility must organization must practice uh, a genuine corporate social responsibility to be successful in the modern marketplace. The triple bottom line places people and the plant on equal standing with profit in the mission of an organization, the genuine practice of CSR, unlike green washing requires a commitment, look at this, requires a commitment to an additional stakeholders, the planet whose continued healthy existence is essential for all, for any organization to operate. And this is the core of the corporate social responsibility. The core of the corporate social responsibility is to keep the earth clean, keep the environment safe. Shall see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Stay. See you forever you are. Bye-bye.